I think I think one of the things we've uh, realized doing this literature review is that not enough rigorous evaluation is done. So one of the big things, first, there's a lot of variation within the type of programs. And second, there's not enough research done. So one really, I mean, one of the policy evaluations is we need to do more research to know what works and what doesn't. And then another, another issue related to this is that it is very important that when one an institution does an evaluation that it thinks on the long run, as we've seen that, you know, a lot of these things. So it, it, it thinks about doing the evaluation not only three months after the program's finished, but following up. I know it's more expensive, but it's really worth it. And then also to think about subgroup analysis, to think why is it that it works for some kids and not others. So for instance, um, in... Um, in the quantum opportunity program where I found um, negative effects in the long run, um, what I, there's a paper, I've done the analysis separately by whether the kid was ex ante at high risk or at low risk of engaging in risky behaviors. And surprisingly, what I found is that the program worked extremely well for those kids who ex ante had a high risk of engaging in risky behaviors. The Quantum Opportunity Program had mentors who were social workers. These workers identified the problems, the problem kids, and really dealt with them very well. This implied that these kids ended up having very high graduation rate in high school that maintained, that didn't fade away, and it increased their um, college and post-secondary education enrollment. Um, and it reduced the risky behavior engagement, both during high school and also later on.